Hey guys, it's Desmond Drupalon here back again for another video, and today I'm going to give you guys my honest review on this latest update. So yeah, like in this latest update, like it came out like really quickly after um the last update, which um got everyone, including me, surprised, and like I'm so surprised they got so, so much stuff in this update out so quickly after their last update. So yeah, like 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 good job to Supercell to be able to do that so quickly and yeah I'm just, I'm just gonna get some really quick things out of the way so yeah again sorry that like I didn't up like I didn't upload like like for for like almost a week but I was just like grinding but uh, on that note I'm I don't think I'm gonna get a fit to 1k because like at the time of this recording there's only one day left and like he has 788 like I seriously underestimated how hard it was to get a brother to 1k at least I like my level um so yeah like I'm really sorry about that but I'm gonna try to get next season because now I'm like more prepared I know what I need to do so yeah I just wanted to get those things out of the way and um yeah so now let's start talking about the newest brawler Sandy so like Sandy is a legendary brawler, um, like that you have to, of course, get from brawl boxes, and like I'm so surprised Supercell got a new brawler, especially a legendary brawler, out so soon. And like I'm just gonna go over her stats. So I level one her. She has 4,000 health and she does 900 damage per attack. And then her super is a sandstorm that covers, I think, um. Like, I don't know, I don't know exactly how, how, um, like, what's the area that it covers, but, like, it covers a, such a large area of the map that, like, if you're versing a Sandy, you can't go in there because you don't know, like, if, if they're just, like, a, an invisible person, like, on the Sandy's team, um, like, trying to attack you, so. And Sandy Star Power is, like, at least the, the first one that we have right now is called Rude Sands. The sandstorm now also damages enemies for 200 damage per second when they're inside the, um, the sandstorm. So like if a, if um, if if I go into Sandy's sandstorm, then I'll take 200 damage. So that's really good, not for like killing brawlers, but it you it doesn't let them heal up. So yeah, that that is like a, I think a really good star power as well. And yeah, like overall, I really like Sandy. Like, um, like we find like it's all it's been like almost a year since we got Leon last, so it kind of makes sense that they would um give us a new legendary brawler. But I, I I really I really like Sandy, and I don't have her yet, but like hopefully I'll be able to get her soon. <coughs> so yeah, that that Sandy, I think she's a really cool brawler. She's gonna get an amazing skin that I'm gonna talk about later. And yeah, that's Sandy. So let's now talk about um, the two new game modes, okay? So we have Lone Star, which is one of the new game modes, which is basically um, like if you go in, it's it's solo showdown. There's no dual showdown, nothing like that. It's solo showdown. You go in, and then um, then you're trying to you have you start with two stars, and then it's basically bounty, just free for all. Like you, if you kill someone, you get a star. And then like you keep on killing people trying to get the most stars by the end of the game and like in the top left hand no, right hand sorry my bad in the top right hand corner it says like you're in the lead keep up the good work you're doing okay or you need more stars so that means like you're in the lead that means first of course and then keep up the good work I think that's like second to third second to fourth or I think then you're doing okay is like fifth to like Seventh, I'm guessing here, but like, and then you need more stars, like eighth to tenth. So, yeah, it's, I really like this game mode, and like the things when you can die, but you respawn, and it just takes seven seconds for you to respawn, and you keep the stars that you you already had, just that like you don't you lose seven seconds um, of getting stars. I think the game was like a a minute and thirty seconds. I'm not sure exactly how long it is, but. I, I love this game. I've been playing it like like a lot. 
Um, and I, I, I loved it. Like, one of the things I especially loved about this game mode, there is no teaming. Since, like, since you have to get kills to do well in the game, like, there is no teaming. Like, people don't team because, like, that wouldn't help either of them. So, like, I love the Supercell for, like, making a game mode that doesn't have teaming. Like, a solo showdown game mode that doesn't have teaming. So, yeah, like, really good job to Supercell. And then we have another new game mode, which is called Takedown. And, like, when I first heard about this, like, I was, like, pretty excited. Like, it seemed, like, pretty basic. Like, there's a huge robot, and then you're trying to hit and, like, get the most damage on the robot while getting power cubes to help you do that. But, like, when I actually started playing it, it was, like, to be honest, it was just wasn't interesting. Like, and it, it's so unorganized. You, like... You spawn in, get a couple of power cubes, and then you try to start doing damage to the robot, but then there's a whole bunch of other people around you trying to do damage, and also trying to kill you to get your power cubes, so they can do more damage. Like, it's so unorganized, and there's just, like, people, instead of, like, um, going for the robot, they just go for kills and stuff, and it's really unorganized, and, like, this is the complete opposite of Lone Star. There's teaming in this game mode, like, I remember I went into this one game with my 8-bit, um... And there's like literally like more than half the lobby like or half the lobby of people in that game were teaming um, together and then of course like I couldn't do anything like I got tenth I think that that game so yeah I didn't I didn't I didn't like this game mode like I'm just gonna be brutally honest with Supercell right here I didn't like this game mode um, I think it's way too unorganized and like there's teaming so <laughs> yeah I, I really didn't like it. So now let's go on to um, the balance changes that came out. Like most of them are just like um, are like star power balance changes because like of course with like two star powers here. So like there's a couple like Barley, Brock, Crow. Like there's a whole bunch of like buffs and like balances there. There's one with like Nita, which Hyper Bear Star Power now increases the bear attack by 60% instead of 50%. I think that was definitely not needed, because like now, like, Hyper Bear is like so fast, like you can lose like half your health, like as a Frank in like, like two or three seconds. Like, it, it, it there's like some balance changes that I don't really agree with, but I don't think they were needed, but yeah, I think they're just trying to balance out the use rates um for all the star powers so yeah like but actual like buffs to their like health or damage or something like that there's two of them pam increased main attack damage from 240 to 260 damage and rose increased health from five five thousand two hundred to five thousand four hundred so yeah i think like i don't know if that was needed i i didn't really see like that but then again i'm not playing rose and pam that much and yeah, like those are balance changes, just star power balance changes, like nothing really new there. And then now we have the skins, okay? So like we we have a barley skin which is um which is star points. It's just like a red barley skin. Um like just a, like it's just red barley skin. Like you like I I, I think it's pretty expensive because it's two thousand 500 star points for this and it's just like a different color so I think this is like pretty expensive I would like if they lower it to like 500 star points so yeah that's it doesn't look bad it just like there's not like a lot of effort um, on Supercell's part and then um, there's this pirate jean skin which looks like really good um like like it, it just looks like really good and just one thing that I think I would add to it, like, would be for a super, it would be a pirate hook instead of, the, like, the regular hand that Jean has. But other than that, like, it looks really good. Like, I like um, the detail that they put into that skin. And it's only 80 gems as well, so, like, it isn't that expensive for most people to buy. And then there is the new Sandy skin um, that's coming out at the time this recording is coming out in 4 days and 17 hours. So yeah, like it's Sandy skin. Uh, like now, brothers are just gonna get skins like every time they come out. Like, so if there's a new brother comes out, they'll have a skin. And like I like this skin. It's just a um, recoloring, but also there's a spike slippers at the bottom, which look like really cool when I first saw them um, in brawl brawl talk. 
Like, it looked really cool. Uh, I don't know how much it will cost yet, but uh, I'm going to see that in the future. And now, like, for one of my favorite parts of this update, and I don't know if many people notice this, but um, there's new winning animations. Like, for, for Primo, like, there's new winning animations for his regular skin, his El Rudo and El, El Rave um, skin. Like, they look amazing. Um, like, their, their, their new animations just look, like, really good. And, of course, like, we got a Primo remodel. Like, just... Just saying, like, um, Supers also gave us a Primo remodel. Or was it last update? I don't remember. I, I don't think they gave it this update, but... I I, I don't remember when, when they gave us the, la, the Primo remodel. I, I might be wrong about, like, it being this update. But Rico also got new winning animations for his loaded Rico, which looks absolutely amazing. And also his regular Rico and his popcorn Rico. So like it, it looks really good, and they also fixed um, Piper's icon. Now she ha actually has teeth, and it, look, it looks it, it resembles a bit more Piper. That she doesn't look as mad. So yeah, um, and well, just one more thing that I don't know if many people have noticed, but like if you're in a friendly and you want to choose what game mode to choose, now there's like a bar on the side where you can like quickly go to each game mode, which I think it's like really good. Um, like it's not a big thing but I, I'd like them to do that like it, it helps us in game like um like our I don't, I don't want to say like quality of life but it just uh, like the, um our experience of the game so yeah um so yeah that's basically all I want to talk about sorry if I uh, I went like a bit long here but there was like a, a, a lot to talk about like I'm surprised they got an update out so soon um, after they released the last update, so like, really good job to Supercell, like, I love what they, um, did with this update, with the, with the exception of Takedown, like, I liked everything in this update, and, yeah, like, overall, I thought this update was, like, really good, like, again, <laughs> I'm just repeating myself here, but, I thought it was, like, really good, and, yeah, like, I'm, hopefully I'm gonna get Sandy soon, and if I get her, I'll, give you guys all, all the information there with Sandy and like my first impressions so yeah if you guys don't want to miss that don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and like if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment share all those good things and yeah hope you guys enjoyed peace out